Good evening, everybody. Um, as you can see, I am in my pajamas um, and in need of a filter. Uh, Fridays are a super long, busy day for me because um, for those of you that don't know, I teach in school on Friday. So um, yeah, I'm still primary school teaching. Um, and it's such a long day um, because of getting up in the mornings and get the girls ready, then get myself to work, then get home and get the girls ready for bed. So um, yeah, sorry, it's a bit of a later one this evening, um, but a curry is on its way. So I am um, squeezing in a quick live before I tuck into that. What are you doing with your Friday evening? Are you having a takeaway? Are you being good? Um, it's always great to hear from you, so comment below. Um, and if anybody is watching live, then give me a wave, let me know who you are. So I'm here today for S. And S today is for setting the scene. And we're setting the scene for school by setting up um, some different role play scenarios with our little ones. Role play and playing in general um, is such a great way for our little ones to experience and practice real life scenarios. Research has been done into the language development that children um, encounter when they are playing and it's not necessarily that the children learn more words when role playing but they get the opportunity to put those words into practice and that's what helps them to learn it. So when we are thinking about preparing our little ones for school we want to be introducing them to lots of new vocabulary which they're going to be hearing in school and one of those is the word register. They might never have heard of register before. Um, some preschools and nurseries do like a self register uh, registration. Um, so they might have a little bit of experience of that, but they might not really have any experience of being called, their names being called out and the teacher ticking them off. Um, so this can be a really fun thing to do um, with your little one in a role play scenario. You could set up all their favourite teddies and go through the register and get your little one to pretend to be the teddies and say, yes, miss. When your little one knows their teacher's name, this can also be really good for them to start practising saying their teacher's name. Yes, miss. And then give the actual name. Um, and I um, also wanted to recommend a book to you, um, which is called Tiddler. Um, it's by Julia Donaldson. And in the story, it's a um, school of fish and the fish um, all have to answer their names in the register. So reading this is going to model to your little ones the um, exchange of dialogue between the teacher and the little ones answering their names. So highly recommend Tiddler. Tiddler is also le always late um, and got an adventure and a story to share. So um, a great book uh, for reading. Um, and my other role play scenario for you this evening is um, to practice lining up. Now, your little one might not really have any experience of having to line up one behind the other. Um, and this is something that we can therefore play on um, when um, we are um, doing some role play scenarios. So we can have a go at lining up all of your little one's teddies and then you can take them off around the house um, as if they are on their way to somewhere new um, in the school building. Uh, we started our A to Z with A for assembly um, and I talked about how you could set up a little mini assembly for your little ones to pretend to uh, be part of. So it could be that you line your um, teddies up and off they go to the assembly room or the hall or wherever it is that they have their assemblies. Um, so um, there you have it, two different role play scenarios that can help um, expose your little one to some of the things that they're going to hear and see in school in a fun, creative way. I'm going to go now and I hope you have a lovely Friday evening. Bye.